All right, Wolfpack, happy Friday. We did it. Another fantastic week. Uh, I'm super excited about this Friday. I think we're finishing off this whole week off with quite a uh, exciting workout. A lot of stuff to do. Um, it's probably going to be a pretty rapid warm up for uh, A, and we'll kind of use this first three minutes nice and light to get warmed up, prime the movement. So uh, kind of be prepared to the, for this to be a pretty fast paced class. So we can fit everything in and give you guys a little bit of uh, transition time between A and B because we got quite an exciting uh, Metcon for you guys. So kind of building off of last week's uh, snatch work, we're going to up the uh, time domain to 75 seconds since I added an additional movement. Um, 10 sets, we're going to do the, uh, the power snatch plus the overhead squat and we're going to drop reset and then we're going to do a squat snatch. So kind of like I mentioned last week, uh, we're getting the hip extension and the power of the snatch. Uh, working, we're perfecting the overhead squat position, and then today or tomorrow, we do the squat snatch. We're just going to put everything that we did for the first two reps into play uh, for the squat snatch. So this kind of complex is really meant to uh, obviously improve our squat snatch, but but you're 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 pretty much hitting the same positions on the snatch motion, and then you're uh, ingraining that perfect upright torso position in the overhead squat to then hopefully when we go into the squat snatch replicate all of that and 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 replicate that perfect overhead squat position. In theory, getting more comfortable with the movement, more efficient, and probably lifting more weight overall or over time because um, we're improving all of these movements together. So the first three sets, again, light, warm up, working on speed, positions. Uh, you shouldn't be getting fatigued at all in these first three sets. They're really just here to prime everything. So we're going to work the high hang power snatch right from the hips. We dip, keep that chest behind the bar so we can get vertical extension. Uh, you're working on getting a nice, um, as deep as you can dip without your chest going forward and full extension. So priming the hips, catching the power snatch, stand up, perfect overhead squat, drop the bar, and then squat snatch from the floor. Okay, so three sets to warm up, and then this is what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven sets. Three minus ten, seven. Smart guy over here. Anyways, uh, from the floor, regular power snatch plus overhead squat, drop, reset, and then squat snatch from the ground. So you can build through these um, seven sets. Probably still want to have, you know, maybe two lighter, moderate ones, and then you probably have four to five heavy sets, or you can kind of work yourself up to one solid weight that challenges technique keep it there the entire time okay but uh, focus on the intentions of the first two movements don't take the power snatch for granted don't take the overhead squat for granted because those are what's going to make uh, this squat snatch even better and we want to focus on that during the snatch so don't take them for granted uh, make sure they're perfect and then replicate everything that we just did on the squat snatch and you're gonna get a lot better at this movement okay so 10 sets on that um, and then we got a aggressive little Friday competitive Metcon um, kind of had some fun writing this one, so hope you guys uh, also have fun doing it. Um, it looks kind of uh, kind of sexy. Okay, so for time, got first two movements, first segments, 21-15-9 of deadlifts. Okay, normal weights for the RX and RX Plus. These should be weights that you can do the 21 and no more than three sets, no more than three sets, and probably closer to two sets. Okay, so use a comfortable weight. Uh, you're going to pair this with wall walks, 963. I don't think I've ever actually done a workout with deadlifts and wall walks. So I really don't know how this is going to play out. Assuming the deadlifts are going to get the, the heart rate really high, the wall walks, it's pretty tough to breathe. Most of the time, the heart rate increases a lot, um, and you're going to have shoulder fatigue. So you're definitely going to feel that on the deadlifts as well, and you could even potentially feel some lower posterior chain walking up the wall with your legs if you use your legs a lot. Okay, so... Um, 2159 of that, 963, and then you're going to do the same rep count, 2159 of toes to bar, mixed in with a heavy shoulder to overhead, okay? And these were the same weights that we did, I think it was two Tuesdays ago, for it was like row, pull up, shoulder overhead, or something like that, or double under, pull up, shoulder overhead, something like that. So you probably want to match the same weight that we did that day, okay? This was the RX and the RX Plus, so it should be a little bit heavier since the rep counts are a little bit shorter, um, but still something that we're push jerking or not split jerking. We shouldn't have to split jerk this weight, split jerk this weight, um, but it should be a weight that the push press is a little bit too heavy, so we have to dip drive and get underneath it and use our legs a little bit, okay? So just so we're on the same page again, you complete all of this first. And then you move on to all of this. So 21 deadlifts, 9, 15, 6, 9, 3. Then move on, toe to bar, 21, 9, 15, 6, 9, 3. Okay? Um, I don't know how long this is going to take. It's going to be really across the board for everybody based on wall walk speed and skills, but based on toe to bar skill. Um, but if I had to venture a guess, right, if you do three sets of seven, 
you're looking at probably close to a minute of deadlifts. You know, nine wall walks were fresher, should be relatively quick, but still, if you're doing three to four minute, you know, let's just call it two minutes to start. So you got three minutes there. Um, you know, another 45 seconds, maybe another minute and a half. Uh, what is that? Two and a half minutes or something. Um, five and a half, six minutes. You know, minute and a half, seven and a half minutes, and it's probably going to take around seven and a half minutes. So we're probably looking at a 15 plus minute workout. Okay, so um, just be prepared to kind of be in for the long haul. Nice little grinder on Friday, kick the weekend off right. Um, as long as we follow those kind of time domain, rep, rep domains, um, we should be able to get it done. But other than that, fantastic Friday. Really good day to get better. A lot of stuff to get done. So remember, class is going to be pretty fast paced, pretty fast warm up. So if you need to show up early and get a few things done, uh, wouldn't be a bad idea, bad idea to do that. Bad out there to do that. Okay. Um, other than that, have a great Friday. If I don't see you, have a great weekend. We'll do it again on Sunday. Later.